NextStage has prepared this instructional video as a supplement to existing labeling and training materials. This tool is not intended to replace the NextStage System 1 User's Guide or Cartridge Instructions for Use. Refer to the appropriate User's Guides and Instructions for Use for all warnings and precautions. You have selected the Simple Module. In this section, we will review how to set up, initiate Prime, make cartridge connections, program treatment settings, launch and monitor treatment, and we'll discuss end treatment. Let's start by turning on one view. You can remove the power cord from the wall outlet and reinsert it, or depress the reset button on the jewel box. Wait for the standby screen, then choose new patient or current patient as appropriate. Click on the simple button located on the bottom of the therapy summary screen and follow the instructions. Click on details for more information. We'll start with setup. Gather and inspect your supplies. Open the cycler door completely and leave the handle up. Turn the cycler and optional warmer on. Wait for the yellow bars to flash. Unpack the cartridge and tighten the patient line connections. Lift the priming spike from the cartridge and insert the cartridge into the cycler and press the tubing into all three air detectors. Close the cycler door carefully to ensure tubing is clear. Insert the access pressure pod monitoring line into the connection point on the cycler. While maintaining firm pressure, twist the tip a quarter of a turn counterclockwise, then tighten the locking collar. This seals the connection. Based on the therapy prescription, confirm the therapy fluid connections at the filter. The cartridge is already configured for CVVH. You do not need to make any changes. For CVVHD or SCUF, Remove the green therapy fluid outlet line from the pre-filter T to the dialysate port and cap the pre-filter T. Make sure your clamps are open. You are finished with setup. Click on the initiate button. Insert the priming spike into one liter of normal saline until the saline bag is flush with the disc on the priming spike. Press the Add Fluid key to begin Prime. Clamp all end spikes of the Therapy Multi-Line Adapter.
If you are using the optional fluid warmer, follow the on-screen instructions to load and prime it. If you are not using the optional fluid warmer, follow the instructions in quick start note NC2939, removal of warmer bag. Your manager or educator can obtain this from the NX Documents website. Set up the waistline by securing the end of the waistline extension to the IV pole. At this point, do not connect it to the cartridge. Remove the end cap from the other end and then position it in the drain. Do not submerge the end of the waistline. Once the primate alarms test is complete, the machine will chime. You will then verify the first display test, the eights. If all the light segments are lit, press the mute key to confirm. The machine will chime again for the second display test. Compare the numbers and letters displayed to the picture in one view, step nine. Press mute to confirm. Verify the 23 in the top window, indicating that the system is in recirculation. You have not yet completed all the steps required before connecting the cartridge. Do not push stop. Do not clamp lines or make cartridge connections. Do not connect the patient to the device. Remove the air from the blood circuit by snapping the lines beginning at the priming spike. Locate the filter on the left side of the cycler. Remove it from the cartridge and then gently tap the filter using the palm of your hand several times. Place the filter in the filter holder with the post filter port upright. Prime the post filter ports. Snap the venous patient line all the way back to the saline bag. Press stop. Confirm that your facility's default treatment rates are displayed. Prime is now completed. All pumps are stopped and all safety alarms are armed. You are in patient connect mode. Prime the arterial T's. You have completed the steps in Prime. You can now move to make cartridge connections. Locate the start of the saline line and follow the line to the white and green clamps. Clamp the saline line and clamp the therapy fluid inlet line, then disconnect. Make sure to keep the connection sterile. Attach the saline line to the saline T. Do not unclamp. Connect the therapy fluid inlet line to the warmer outlet 
or the therapy fluid tubing if not using the warmer, and unclamp. Go back to the priming spike and find your yellow waistline. Clamp and disconnect this line and connect it to the waistline extension. Unclamp both. Locate the patient lines at the priming spike, clamp, and disconnect. Connect patient lines to the patient's vascular access and unclamp all clamps. Confirm that the system is ready. Click on the details button on step number four to confirm that the system is ready. Completion of these steps may prevent inadvertent alarms. Check the optional fluid warmer and make sure that the air trap is full of fluid and the control knob is at 12 o'clock. Look at the patient lines to see if they are connected to the vascular access and all clamps are open. Check that the saline line and the saline T are clamped. Check the waistline to see that all clamps are open and the end cap is removed. Make sure that the filter is in the filter holder with the post filter port upright. Check that the therapy fluid clamps on the lines being used are open. This completes the make cartridge connection section. Click the program button to program your treatment settings. Press the volume toggle and observe VOL in the bottom window. Enter the therapy volume goals. Make sure that you see VOL in the red window when entering the volumes. Press the volume toggle to return to the rates display or the rate display will reappear if the buttons are not engaged for 10 seconds. Adjust your therapy rates. This completes the section on programming your treatment settings. Click on the launch button to learn how to start the therapy. Press the treatment key to start the treatment. Congratulations, you have successfully started the therapy. Refer to the detailed buttons in one view for more information on monitoring the treatment. Monitor the treatment and provide appropriate interventions if necessary as outlined by your hospital protocol. To end the treatment and return the blood, click on the End button in one view. Choose your desired type of rinse back by referring to the End Treatment module. Congratulations, you have completed the next stage review of Simple Module.